Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our analysis for this Monday until Wednesday, November 29 to December 1st, 2021 and this brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Now let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set to start this week. This is valid for today Monday until tomorrow Tuesday. We have the easterly surface wind flow a little bit uh, slighter right now, just affecting the uh, eastern coastline of uh, Cagayan Valley. The eastern, uh, the eastern coastal areas of the Bicol region, eastern Visayas, and uh, Shergao Island. So uh, these areas will have some uh, visit conditions with some possible isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. There will be more cloudiness along the Batanes and Babuyan group of islands because of the convergence of the northeast monsoon and the easterly trade winds. And this is known as a wind convergence. We are keeping keeping an eye on this uh, converging uh, cloudiness because it may develop into a frontal system and it is expected to move towards the east northeast away from the Philippine Islands and right here over the uh, northern portions of the South China Sea we still have the strong northeasterly monsoonal flow and right here over the southern coastline of southern Vietnam we have the uh, Low pressure area 94W with its trough, uh, the surface trough, okay, which is where the uh, LPA is embedded, is affecting Klein Island Group as well as uh, the southern portions of uh, uh, Palawan and uh, the offshore areas of uh, Bangsamoro, okay, that includes uh, Hulu Sulu and Basilan. By the way, uh, thunderstorms will be expected here because of the wind convergence across Batanes and Babu and Kubab Islands, while the rest of the country will remain fair with some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, cloudy skies in the afternoon or evening. Now we are keeping an eye on this active low pressure area. Uh, just last uh, uh, Saturday, it uh, became a uh, uh, low probability LPA, but right now, since we told you that this may become an active one and eventually become a tropical cyclone and it's now happening it's now to the west southwest of guam it's already an active lpa this is 93w with a higher chances of becoming a tropical cyclone at more than 65 percent within the next uh, 6 to 24 hours and it's likely uh, this may become a tropical uh, storm but uh, the uncertainty of uh, entering the philippine area of responsibility uh, versus uh, a recurvature remains okay and uh, uncertainty is still high but it looks like the computer models most of them are now showing a possible recurvature within the next three to five days because of this forming uh, frontal system here Okay, so this will help the system recurve towards the northeast. And aside from the recurvature of this system, this will be having some hard time to organize because we will be having a new surge of the northeast monsoon. It's quite a strong surge because it will reach uh, Bicol region and northern Visayas as well as the uh, central portions of the Philippine Sea beginning December 1 until December, actually it will extend until December 8 for a week. So this system might not, might not uh, survive or if ever it will move towards the Philippines or the uh, 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 central portions of the Philippine Sea, it will start to dissipate because of the cool dry air generated by the system remember low pressure areas are warm moist air that's the energy that they derive from so this will be having some problems in the next couple of days which is good news for us because it will not affect or give any threat to our country but still we are keeping an eye on the system that forecast is between five to seven days so anything is possible but either way if it uh uh, recurve it's uh, very good but if it will uh, actually the uh, American model model gonna show it to you in a while it shows a curvature but after reaching 19 degrees somewhere here okay it will start to move southwest towards the Philippine Sea but the better uh, scenario of this system even if it uh, does uh, uh, move towards the southwest 
it is expected to dissipate because of the surge of the dry uh, air, uh, the cool dry air brought about by the northeast monsoon. That's uh, uh, a good scenario. Okay, actually, most uh, most of these uh, scenarios are still good as of this time. So let's hope and pray that uh, uh, the uh, last month of the year there will be no tropical cyclone that will affect our country. So let's all pray. Okay, and. Uh, Here's the uh, fast animation. As you can see here, it's quite a broad system. Now, another thing, if the system is quite broad, it will be having a hard time to organize compared to medium to smaller sized system. Okay, because of the Coriolis force, since larger system will take a lot of time for it to organize. So uh, this is uh, quite a good news to uh, to us. And here's the uh, developing frontal system from a uh, wind convergence. So uh, tomorrow in our in our graph set, we'll update this for possible developing frontal system, which is just on time. Because if this uh, uh, frontal system didn't develop, it may uh, this uh, LPA might pose a threat to our country. Okay. Now let's take a look at the zoom in satellite animation. It's all clear across the Philippine Islands except for very small chances of isolated rain showers and thunderstorms along the areas of uh, Visayas, Bicol, some localized thunderstorms over the uh, offshore areas of Mangsamoro and uh, some Wanga Peninsula and also here over the southernmost part of the Sulu Archipelago portions of Palawan and here there are some developing thunderstorms right now across the uh, areas of uh, Benguet, Mountain Province, as well as the Gupan area because of uh, localized uh, thunderstorms. Uh, just remember, we are still in a La Nina mode. That's why even uh, at this time, it's already uh, nearing December, you will be surprised there are still some thunderstorms here because November to uh, uh, February is uh, actually November to May is dry season here across Ilocos region, including uh, the western sections of Luzon and Metro Manila. But there are some sh showers right now because of the ongoing La Nina phenomenon. So that's the uh, latest from our zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. Let's take a look now at our rainfall accumulation for the next three days. So there you go. For the next three days, we uh, are expecting some rains and thunderstorms here because of the departing frontal system and the new surge of the northeast monsoon and also affecting Cagayan Valley. And uh, here across the coastal areas of uh, northern Quezon, Pulillo, Bicol region, there will be some light to moderate showers because of the surge of the northeast monsoon expected to arrive this uh, day 1 of December or December 1st, okay, and then uh, also affecting uh, Eastern Visayas, some localized thunderstorms and uh, the uh, Oriental Mindoro area and some uh, mm, possible troughing here across uh, Palawan and the southernmost part of Sulu Archipelago as well as some Waga Peninsula and the offshore areas of Bangsamoro because of a surface trough. So that will be the effect of the monsoon. Some showers will be expected, becoming more frequent across the Cagayan Valley, particularly those facing the Philippine Sea and the Balintang Channel. And here comes the uh, heavy rainfall generated by the LPA, which is expected to become a tropical cyclone within a day. Okay. Now let's take a look at the uh, wind and pressure forecast from... The uh, European model. So today there's the uh, uh, wind convergence here and possible development of a frontal system right there. And here's now the active LPA 93W. On Tuesday, uh, the system will uh, start to move towards the northwest. The Philippine area responsibility is somewhere here. So based on the forecast of the European model, it won't enter par. It will just be within 100 kilometers outside of par. And on December 1, um, take a look at that uh, surge of the uh, northeast monsoon, okay? December 1 in the morning, it will start to uh, accelerate downward the uh, strong northeast monsoon. Probably the winds here is around uh, 40 to 60 kph. And coastal areas here will be dangerous to 
all sea crafts because of the uh, impending northeast monsoon. And on the afternoon of December 1, it will now be affecting also the Bicol region, the coastal areas, and northern Visayas. And here comes the uh, tropical storm, potential tropical storm. Very near the Philippine Air Responsibility, moving slowly. And here comes the uh, uh, shear line of the frontal system. It will start to uh, uh, connect with the, this uh, tropical uh, uh, storm, the potential tropical storm. If it does enter par, it will be named uh, Odeth. But if not, if it, it will just be, uh, it will not be used. Okay, the local name of Pagasa. And on, uh, okay, that that's the uh, forecast for now. For the next three days, I'm gonna, going to show you the uh, multi. Uh, model uh, forecast tracks okay uh, all of the models are there so uh, if we take f a look first with the American model it's all the same until uh, December 1 the system will start to uh, uh, recurve, recurve towards the north northeast now let's take a look at the uh, uh, computer models okay so you can see here the light green is the uh, on this one the light green is the uh, um, uh, US Navy model it shows here that it will enter the Philippine Air Responsibility as well as the Canadian model but the uh, US Navy model is um, curving while the uh, Canadian model is dissipating here because of the uh, northeast monsoon okay the cool dry air is uh, killing the system and uh, we are now going to focus with uh, on the two reliable computer models first we are going to uh, give you the track of the uh, american model so it on the next two days this is uh, on december 1 it will be near par and it will slightly enter par based on the american model and after that it will start to recurve, but from here, uh, the surge of the northeast monsoon will push it back to the Philippine Sea, but on a dissipating stage. Okay. While the uh, European model, it will start to move at this direction for the next uh, two to three days. Uh, this is on the second day, December 1st, about 100 kilometers only east of the Philippine Area of Responsibility. It won't enter par, and it will start to recurve on December 2, 3, accelerating towards the uh, 4th of December. So, based on long-range uh, forecast models, the uh, uh, European model is uh, really the leader when it comes to uh, high probability okay but we're only uh, going to focus on the uh, uh, forecast for the next five days so the five wait no no three days the three days is here this is for the European model while the uh, mm -hmm, let me see American model is up to here so it's a different take on this system but they are close enough the same situation so uh, that's the scenario so based on what we are seeing right now the possible uh, uh, window of uncertainty is that direction with the uh, European model recurving accelerating it may also become a typhoon while the uh, American model it will recur but it will stand still and move back towards the southwest being pushed by the um, northeast monsoon and it will dissipate as a uh, uh, surface trough or tropical wave over the philippine sea so both of them are still on a different take but uh, based on this latest analysis which is still uh, at 50 percent probability because we are focusing on the uh, three day while the six to uh, um, eight day uh, forecast will remain low or highly uncertain so let's wait and see but the good news it has uh, no direct it shows no direct effect or threat to our country yet as of this time so chillax relax and 
we will uh, let you know uh, on the latest on these uh, computer models and that uh, potential tropical cyclone this coming Wednesday. If it does give a serious threat to our country, we will issue a tropical uh, cyclone uh, advisories at our website typhoon2000.ph. Okay, and also at our Facebook uh, page, MrTyphon.com, and uh, special coverage as well at our YouTube and Facebook channel. So, uh, we will uh, be observing this. We will be uh, back on Wednesday to give you the uh, update on this uh, impending uh, tropical cyclone. Uh, as of this time, it's still uh, safe, okay, not that to our country. Again, from Typhoon 2000, uh, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag WeatherWiser. Thank you so much for watching our channel.